So this is going to be episode two of What the Dub, uh, Fargo season one, episode two. Sorry. Where we last left off, Martin Freeman had killed his wife, called Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton showed up to help remove his wife. And in all of that, uh, he ended up killing a police officer. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But um, he killed the police officer. Then the police officer's partner showed up and found him. And Billy Bob Thornton took off. Martin Freeman knocked himself out. And I think that's pretty much where the last episode left off. Um, If you're watching this, please don't put any spoilers. Don't put any corrections. Uh, I want to try to figure this out on my own. You can feel free to tell me that I'm an idiot, that I'm dumb, that I don't know what I'm talking about. But just don't correct me if that's cool. I'd rather... I mean, the point is to try to figure it out without knowing what's being said. And if you just tell me what's being said, that kind of ruins the whole game of it. Yeah, so here we go. Episode 2 begins now. I like that actor. Um, I can never remember his name, though. He's one of those guys that you see all the time and uh, just really have a hard time keeping his name straight. But... He was in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan, I believe. And Sie? Sind aus Fargo. Good. Sie so Sie they came from Fargo, I believe. Sie hatten recht. Are going to Fargo? Came from Fargo? Not, not sure what. Er sagt, jede Stadt braucht eine Bücherei. It would help das if I could, ich auch so. if I knew Sagen sign language too. The the guy who died at the strip club is owns this place. I think he's Hess. Okay. Something Hess. Okay. Okay. Verstehe. And they came to find him. Glauben Sie, es ging um die Geschäfte? Ich. Probably because they're Kein Ärger mit some type of gangster trying to shake him down for something or money he owes or. Und. Da war ein I feel like they're just making up the sign language. So this is probably the wake of Martin Freeman's wife. Okay, so he got shot. That makes more sense now. I didn't know where they came from last time. So that's the cop's blood. Who who cleans that up when that actually happens? Is that the homeowner's responsibility? Like if you get attacked, you have to pay someone to come clean your house up? I mean, obviously he didn't get attacked, but... Everybody thinks he did. So she was partners with the cop who died. And that's the dead cop's wife who's pregnant. Okay. I think Lester is Martin Freeman. So Sam is the dead guy. Vern is the dead cop. Lester is Martin Freeman. We were at the same high school. Bob Odenkirk and Lester went to the same high school together. So I think the woman cop wants to check on Martin Freeman. Just to like, I don't think she's like suspecting him yet. She's like lightly suspicious or at least he knows something. And Bob Odenkirk is like, no, I went to high school with that guy. I've known him for a long time. And, uh... There's no way he would have done it. But she's like, well, we should check. Like, let's just check anyways. And he finally agrees. 
I think that's what happened. He definitely said high school at some point in that conversation. There's some words that you don't really translate. Are very, very close. Sometimes there's words that sound exactly like other words that have nothing to do with uh, what you thought. Do you cry because you don't have your wife anymore? Or are you crying because it reminds you of what you did? What's he crying about? It's gotta be remind you what he Hello, did, right? Lester. Mr. Naggett. So I think the woman, uh, Molly, was the police officer. After. She was the only one who wanted to come in. Bob <laughs> Odenkirk wanted to leave, <laughs> and Martin Freeman didn't want to invite him in, but she kind of pushed herself into. Wie die Kaugummis von früher, mit Traubengeschmack, als wir noch klein waren. Teufel, wie hießen die noch? You just. You can tell so much about what's happening just by body language oh, yeah. between the two officers. So I think she asked him, why were you downstairs? And he was explaining about the washing machine. Oh, that's right, yeah. Sam Hess weißt nicht mehr? was his Sam, bully. Der der high immer hat. What? Oh, yeah. ich glaube, der Kerl Bob Odenkirk is ist dir saying nach Hause who gefolgt. probably ja, did it. Because yes. he's talking ja, to ich, Martin Freeman like a friend. Ich, 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 ich but Molly is suspicious ich, and is frustrated. Because uh, he, Odenkirk is undercutting her erwähnt, investigation. Also, yeah, Hubba Bubba, Darüber Hubba haben wir uns Bubba. immer kaputt gelacht. Ich bin anscheinend ein Priester. Sir? Ihr Tag möge gesegnet sein. So, <clears throat> I think what happened was Billy Bob Thornton just got a so I think he's a, an assassin, and I think he just got a hit request. I don't. What do you call that? What is it when you're given a job as an assassin? A target? Uh, I don't know what the book was. I assume the ID is the biggest part, and uh, something about a priest. I, I mean, I assume that his target is a priest, but. I feel like this show is really good, but it's so hard to follow this way. There's not enough action going on. Like, I think the dialogue is supposed to be great, but the, if that's all I have right now, it's really hard to make guesses and try to figure out what's actually going on. So he just revealed who he worked for, and the guy recognized it and panicked. I assume that that guy's dead. He did not try at all to catch that dog. Sie spielen gern mit Messern. Rede weiter, dann werden wir es gleich wissen. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why they're talking to him, why he's threatening to him, them with a knife, but that's where we're at right now. So they must have hired, so the company must have hired them to find the murderer of Sam Hess. So that's probably Sam's brother, the bald guy. Because I think it's called Hess and Sons. Uh, I think he realized that's not him. Yeah, that's not the right guy. S so they're gonna kill him? Right? I mean, you don't just let him go. Frank Peterson, ma'am. I work for Mike, your entscheidungsanwalt. So that's his name. I'm really entzückt. Oh, Entschuldigung, Selbstbräuner. So Billy Bob Thornton is Frank Peterson. Man an seinen Händen gerochen. 
Sie meinen an den Händen Ihres Mannes? Die riechen wie Füße. Dein Arsch sieht fantastisch aus, Schätzchen. Weiter so. Nun ja, jedenfalls, ähm, ich habe den Auftrag einer Aufstellung aller Vermögenswerte Ihres Mannes. Glenn Howerton is Wir möchten natürlich die bestmögliche Scheidungsvereinbarung. Laut dieser Schätzung I've seen beträgt das Vermögen. Hm. Ja, ich bin Schlester. Sie, sie ist ähm, meine Frau, sie ist. Oh Gott. So Martin Freeman called. Sie ist im Keller tot und Martin Freeman didn't call. Bill Balthorn. Lester, waren Sie ein böser Junge? Oh, Entschuldigung, selbst. Lester called. Ich hab den Hammer genommen und können Sie herkommen? Ich wohne am Willow Creek Drive Nummer 613. Okay. That makes some more sense. So Martin Freeman called the grocery store guy because he was in a panic. Billy Bob Thornton showed up to kill the cop because the cop knew about the car. No, that was Colin Hanks. So it wasn't that cop. Were they together? I'm guessing this is the guy who was trying to extort the uh, grocery store guy. Arbeite ich für den King. Deswegen bin ich so was wie sein Vater. Oh, das ist way more aggressive. Also gib mir den Brief, pack deinen Scheiß zusammen und. Okay, maybe not the extorter. Do they work together? <laughs> That'd be really hard to stay at the house. Well, I mean. One, if you murdered someone yourself there, it'd be really hard to stay there. But two, if going back to the house where your wife just got murdered. Oh. I thought he put that in there to make the washing machine make noise, but he put it in there to hide the weapon. Okay, so he's moved out, which makes sense. That's a pee jar, right? Definitely. <laughs> what do you do with that? Die Erbsen sind gut, Schatz. Ja, Mom. Richtig gut. Wie schmeckt es? Oh, he's not at a hotel. Okay. Sehr gut. He's staying with his friends. That guy was the guy at the wake. Whose P-Jar is that? The Suns? That's the biggest mystery to me right now. That's the one I care the most about. Whose P-Jar is that? One of the things that you could spoil for me is what kind of accent is Martin Freeman using? Does he sound like he's from Minnesota or does he sound like he's from the UK? That's something that I, it'll take me forever to figure out. Well, I have to watch it in English to know. So feel free to tell me that in the comments below if you don't mind. This is harassment at some point, right? Um, sir... Wissen Sie, ich will ehrlich recht. Und nur 24 Stunden später ist Hess tot. Und dann noch dieses Drama, du weißt, mit Lesters Frau und Vern. Is that her dad, maybe? Otherwise, she, I feel like she's revealing way ich too much nicht, about cases. Erinnerst, als du fünf warst, warst du mal wie... Lester Neigert hat angerufen und er ist sehr verärgert. Aha, ja, ich hatte damit so, gerechnet. Ja, wir haben guessing Lester gesprochen. complained und about dachte, Molly. Nee. Ich dachte, es war eindeutig, dass wir uns auf her. die Landstreichertheorie konzentrieren, nicht, dass wir die Opfer bedrängen. I don't think she's suspended, but I think she's definitely got a warning and told to lay off. But she felt like she was making progress, so she doesn't want to lay off. Okay, so this was, this is two kidnappers, gangsters, whatever. We took that one guy. Oh, still alive. Lenny, I think his name was. 
new moon and the full moon. Hi. Oof. That's a bad way to go out. I did. Will that cut For ice certain. though? An auger Home like that? Gather seashell. I guess it will. It, it just seems too big. You know the thrill of I guess if you go really slow, it doesn't matter. To hike over the island to the village. That'd be terrifying. Visit the marketplace. And enjoy the music and the food and the people. And they're just gonna push him under. He's not even gonna sink. He's just gonna and see the great ship float underneath the ice. Magic. Man had me a fall. And in the <sighs> evening, Oof. when the sky is on fire. That's a Heaven and earth become my great open cathedral. As a nightmare. Where all men are brothers. Because where all things are bound by law. Someone said that he looks like a guy that they were describing. Alright. Okay, so that was episode two. Uh, I feel more confused in a lot of areas. I feel like I got a couple things figured out. Uh I think that Martin Freeman never called Billy Bob Thornton. I don't think they knew each other on that level. Mar uh, Billy Bob Thornton was there to kill the cop, and it just happened to be that they had just met each other and were talking earlier that day. Um, but again, the biggest mystery is whose pee bottle was in that, that closet. It has to be the kids, right? He's probably staying in the kids' room. That's weird. Uh, and yeah, those two gangsters are trying to f figure out who killed Sam Hess. I assume because Sam's brother, the bald guy, hired them to figure it out because the police weren't doing a good job. So those guys are after Billy Bob Thornton, but they don't know who he is. Billy Bob Thornton seems to be killing people I, I don't know the connection to why he's killing so many people but he, he seems like someone is giving him targets and uh, Martin Freeman is trying to keep the murder of his wife under wraps but Molly the police officer has suspicions about Sam Hess's murder towards Martin because Martin or Lester they were they knew each other in high school. Sam was a bully to Lester, even to this day as adults. And so Molly's got um, like a gut instinct about Lester that he knows something that he's not telling. So she got in trouble for harassing him. So I think I'm, I think I'm following it. I, I, there's a lot. the The longer dialogue scenes are really, really hard to follow, which I think hopefully makes sense. But uh, I think overall I'm getting the gist of the story. So I'll be back next week with episode three and uh, see where it goes.